Hello everyone. Um, can you imagine all this same in half an hour? I was, I was. Um, let me just wait. I was busy in preview mode. <laughs> so, um, I'll just explain what I've done. I'm so sorry about that. Goodness me. Um. So, um, I've basically just removed nail polish and just the usual things that we've talked about that we observe welcome everyone um and so what we're doing now today as i said or as um from what i, I was able to pick up like you know um could be a topic that we could cover today was you know how to uh pack up those nail and uh, those nails after you polish them yeah so sometimes you know it's not just putting polish on your nails but um you know how can you make your polish stand out or you know that make it a bit more exciting maybe depending on what you're doing um and stuff like that so what i've done is um remember we meet normally um every every two weeks but when a saturday we when we're supposed to meet is an even uh day then we, we we skip it and only meet on odd numbered uh saturdays yeah so that's why we didn't meet last weekend um and because of that i ended up doing my nails so i removed what the polish that we had done together and i did some deco on my nails that's what i had shared and um it gave me ideas you know just uh, you know something uh, for us to to do today you know or as we go along you know how can you pep up your nails pack them up um so that they look a bit more exciting you know um instead of just polishing yeah so i done this i had these are motifs that i bought um and so i thought um you know i could just share with you guys what i normally do just to you know add a little something different to my nail polish and that's what we're doing today so i've just removed my nail polish from last time and i've um, removed the cuticles i've just used the usual cuticle remover just um you know applied it on my nails and pushed back the cuticles with the orange stick so this is what i've just done and um and file the nails you know so i said um the most important thing is to make sure that all these things that we've been discussing you know or sharing in terms of how can we make our nails grow um let's keep keep them you know like for example use a glass file if you can or a file that is very very fine um then um also like when you're you know pushing back your cuticles you can use a, an orange stick or this wooden stick or even your nails to, to push back the cuticle if you don't have any of this or sometimes you know it's in between and you don't really have have the the, the, the tool so you can just do that and you know it helps with your nails but then i said sometimes you can use tools as usual the way i've told you, you can use clippers but if you don't really know how to use clippers um I'll always share them so just just go to a professional uh, nail place and they'll do that for you they'll remove the cuticles for you so such such uh, you know sharp tools that if you don't know how to use them you might destroy uh, your your you know then the the, the, the the nail the part of the nail that's supposed to stay intact you know so please be be careful be careful about that yeah so um then uh we also said about we talked i just talked about it shared about uh you know if you have to do any housework washing uh gardening please try and use gloves right so that um you know you you, you try to take care of your nails that they are not messed up uh, a lot so the next thing that we're going to do i have some cuticle oil or nail oil nail oil i'm going to apply now on the nails and then we rub it in because as i told you moisturizing the nails is very very important uh, even in between even when you're having your polish make sure that you have a cream especially that's both for hands and nails and do that 
you know every now and then and especially when you have washed your hands or you've um, I also put it at the bottom of the nail um, it doesn't have to be a lot I'm just putting a bit more because I want to rub it on all my nails and the fingers also so my poor right hand that's always working <laughs> does be taken special take care of but the nails are growing I just mentioned before that I had to trim off this hand the nails were really splitting my ear started off with um, I think I, I mentioned it to you guys I was doing a lot of um, hand washing I mean even with gloves if you use hot water sometimes you find that the nail uh, the gloves sorry the the gloves um the rubber gloves that we have they get small holes and sometimes you might not notice and this lets water in and what happens is um, that then you just massage what happens is that you don't notice but you're getting water in the gloves and you know you're thinking you're protecting your nails but they're getting wet and brittle in there they start splitting and layering up and you know so you have nails that are you know um, that are destroyed in as much as you're using um, the gloves so be careful in terms of that aspect yeah so so we're going to look at um, some ways I think we'll do we won't do many different ways maybe I do two or three ways today and then every other time I'm doing nails I can maybe do one nail with some you know that's as, as I've said that is um, packed up you know that's that we can add a bit of something to make it exciting yeah okay so I'll wrap this again so since I have its oil nail oil I'll wrap it with a very damp um, cotton and I can even also use dry it all out with a towel just the nail because I don't want um, when I put the nail polish that it doesn't hold for long because of the oil okay so there are different ways of um, how you can do this we're going to apply a base coat on all the nails and then I'll just share a few ideas in terms of how I do this. Uh, sorry, I normally use my hand, my whatever to open this. So I'll keep the nail. I always say get everything ready. So we'll have the nail polish here ready for the sides in case we need to do um, the sides to remove any uh, polish that might go on the sides. Mm, this one I really have to really try it out because sometimes it's really they're really so small these motifs i hope i'll be able to catch them <laughs> and do that so um i'm going to show you some ways of doing this i think i'll start with i'll explain maybe what we can do but because i don't want to put um you know like a hundred things on on my nails um just to show you the different ways that we can do this maybe we can do one or two um, ways of how to you know pack up your nails or maybe we do one hand I'll see what what is best because it also depends on how the nails are going to dry up um, and then we will see and then we can continue in the next um, live stream and, and do other, other methods yeah so one uh, so we are going to we have the base coat and then I need um, um, top coat that dries very fast because some I might need the nails to be dry for some or maybe what we do this that the ones that need the, the nails to be dry I do this I prepare the nails next week I already put the polish and then I just show you when the polish is dry then we you know I show you how to do that I think that's a better way so what we'll do now I'm going to use show you ways of doing this so that one so you can either mix you can mix colors you can mix colors 
um, to create new colors for yourself let me see if I have another one we can add here maybe also with a bit of glitter so we could use this three or maybe two col three colors because that's a bit but they're deep mm. let me use those three so then um i'll try and do an inverted um i'll do an inverted um french manicure then i'll use um glittered nail polish i've used it once this glittered nail polish but i can show you what you can do uh, as you combine it with another color and maybe i can use um, these two colors to show you another way so how many do we have and then and then the then we'll do this so five nails we'll do this and then my left hand i'll just use one polish you know just one polish all through mm, exactly then the rest we can try out as we go along next in the next um in the next live stream okay so we put the base coat then i'll start with I think I'll leave the easiest ones. This one, these two. So we'll start with this one because it's a bit of too much work. So let me put the base coat and then we can start. Sorry, you need to move nearer get rid of these polishes because you need to see okay so you always seal the sides especially after you filed your nails um, just to make sure that you know um, they don't um, attract you know like water or liquids in here and also it also keeps your polishes longer you know when you seal them up you don't have to do with every with every um, time you put polish but especially for the base coat and maybe one one color you know one when you're doing the polish once normally you put two coats you don't have to do both you know just just once maybe the the second one or the first one so you see later need to put this away okay so we do the left the right hand imagine you guys i was on preview the whole time i thought i'd moved to live sorry about that so but if you've watched especially the, um, those of you who've watched my other live streams it was basically just um you know prepping up the nails for polishing although i like sharing you know sometimes um you know i'm discussing new things and sometimes it's good when you hear you know you hear everything um so sorry about that So when you're putting polish again as I told you try to like I do from the middle to the sides and then the last one on the on top in the middle so we have that done so I've done my so base coat so the first thing I'll do is is this one this this one of ours so we get this one out I have to pick it out 
and get it ready though i need to use it for before i search it um have to decide on which nail i want it maybe i use it on the thumb okay let me use the thumb then it's easier so you pick you just pick them from you choose the design that you want these are different designs so i'll just choose one and put it on my on the nail that i want yeah so normally i do like one nail you know one one decorative motif on the right and on the left and sometimes i choose the same nail if, it, if i do it on the ring finger on the on the on the left hand and i do it also on the right hand um but people are different it's there's no right or wrong you know so i've, I've just lifted it up a little so that when i put the polish it's not you know like i don't mess it up wait a bit because sometimes it just jump out so i've just picked it up a little so it will be easier to pick it when i have polish so i'll use red um for this one to show you how you can you know make your nails a bit more exciting using this motif so these motifs as i said i bought them i bought them and i think if you check online you'd be able to get them they're like tattoos but for for the nails you know this one is almost getting finished me love this polish so that's what i say i start with the sides and i move to the middle so this one i lock it a little and then as i said you make sure that you have your brush ready if you have any any um excess i have this brush with both sides and so i just i just remove it immediately but i used to tell you sometimes it when i'm tired i do this the next day so so i have the first coat of polish then i'll put the second coat is red done right there and then I'll get my design so I'm using these clippers um, to, to pick it up here yeah? so I have to be careful because sometimes it just jumps you don't see it again they are very small oh i just spoke too soon now it's jumped i need to see where it's gone need a bit need a bit need to see where it's gone to i tell you they just just jumps and disappears so i have to be careful i i'm sure i'll see it somewhere Sorry. So there we go. So I've picked it here. Yeah? I don't know that you can see. I've picked it up. Mm -hmm. So then I'll just place it where I want on the nail. Yeah, I'll just choose where I want on the nail. And then I'll just place it so like normally I like on the side a little so the polish is almost dried so 
Wait. No. No, 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 no. I don't like how it's fitted with a bit. Okay, so I've placed it on the side of the nail because that's where I want it and then I'll wait for it and then I'll put um, base coat, I mean top coat, top coat there. So then the next thing that you can do is, um, trying to see, I'll use the white one in the middle. Um, so you can use, um, I have this silver color and then I can use um, either I put silver I think I'll put yellow at the bottom I'll use this too I like the combination of the colors I've not I've never used this combination before I just thought it would look good let's see how it looks I think I'll do it on my small finger so I put the yellow at the bottom a bit too much product got to remove some product And I put the yellow is very um, how do I say um, it needs two coats at least to get the, the right color Since I didn't let me lock it now I didn't lock it at the beginning okay so we have the yellow there we go and then what we'll do we can use this um, silver color now to create some so what I do is I I use the um, a bobby pin yeah it's for the hair you just put it apart yeah and then you can just either touch the side depending on how much either you go straight into the bottle try to go in the middle you can always clean it up but if the polish is not too much then you can um, maybe do some like two dots Just put some dots, two on this side and one in the middle. I don't like too much stuff. So. product is so much you just get it out then try to join the two same then I'll put it down here and remove any extra that's not too much There we go. So we have done that. Then the third way is um, so instead of just putting like look for a polish that has glitter. So like I have this one and then I'll put it at the bottom. Yeah. So I'll put it at the bottom. You're going to see how I'll do it. Move that away. 
So normally what I do is, let me put it on this finger. Just put the polish. So two coats. Because it's very pale. If it was maybe not too pale, then you can do with one coat. Otherwise, it won't show. Normally, do the side. Do it on the side. So. I'll wait for this one to dry because I'll, I need to put the um, orange then on top but not completely so that you have the two colors yeah so I'll wait a bit for this one to dry I can be doing the other two nails so we've done this one let's put these ones away so then the third this middle nail I wanted to show you how to do like um a French manicured nail but inverted yeah so what does that mean instead of putting the white on the outside you put the white on the inside and you can use actually any other color that's the idea so I'll be doing a bit of this later so you see that so we'll use this orange after so we this one so we're just remaining the base coats um, this is the top coat for it wait a bit I need to read it Mm -hmm. That is the precision. I need to be sure that I'm not putting the wrong one. Need a bit. Yeah, this one is the base coat. So maybe I can put one coat of it. Just put base cut. So this is um, a normal French manicure set. This too, um, but I'm not putting the white part at the usual tip, but on the other side of the nail. So you see what I mean. So I'll also let it dry a bit. So that's what we have. In the meantime, I can now work on this. It's a bit dry. So in this case, so once you put the glittered polish, yeah, you put now a an exciting color on top. Maybe you'd want to match it with an outfit or um, with your bags or accessories or clothes. Um, so you don't go to the end completely so you leave all around the, the, the glittered part here you have put a bit too much but it's okay I hope you understand what I'm saying so the nail um, sorry I need to remove a bit of you put the glitter, glittered polish first, and then you add um, a bright color on top of it, and then it's like the two colors coming out. And this is also more like what I'll do um, for the French. Let me now get the brush. Oh, sorry. So here we have the. So what you do is now you instead of putting the white here at the base, um, you put you put it at the at the, at the, at the side where the nail grows. Um, so I have a precision brush. This one I got it from. It's with the same um, French manicure bottle. I love French manicure, so I get to do it a lot. 
So all you need to do is run the brush on this side. Again, I remove the extra polish. And so um, you don't have to use white. You can use any color. You can use blue, red, whatever. You can do two colors as you wish. Um, even for the, for the other side of the nail, this one I've just used the pastel color for... Um, for the French manicure, but you can even use like two two colors that you'd like, you know, maybe um, I don't know, maybe white and blue or, you know, just what you'd like. Yeah. So that's an inverted um, French manicure. And then the other nail that nail idea that I had was, let me see if we can do this. But this is the one I was saying I need to. So I'll use. So I have a white uh, polish for base. And then I have. Um, I, I, uh, I shadow. Yeah. So what you can do is select maybe one of the colors that you'd like. Let me say a blue. So I put the white. Oh, but that's what I was saying. I wonder if it will, it's going to dry. I think this is what I need to do next time because of the waiting. But let me see if it will dry fast. Maybe I should use a uh, white, the one that dries fast. Wait one second. I get a polish that dries fast. I have it here. 40 seconds. Yeah. Let me try use this. Then I see if we can do it also. So I'll put white as a base color. This one dries in 40 seconds. But I need two coats. So um, I'm thinking what I'll do with my left and what colors I'll use maybe I just use all white because of all these colors on my hands so I need to cut this a bit deco give it a little bit of time so meanwhile i'll be putting polish on this hand i'm trying to wonder what maybe i just use white today let me just use white today and it dries very fast just use this 40 seconds nail polish i'm just polishing my left hand now and I've decided to use white today for this hand because I think I have a lot of color on the other side that's all different so as I said I run through the side then I do the other side then if I need more polish I put it now I leave it for the middle The less swaps you do, 
the better. And this your polish might bubble up. So what I'll do next, in the next live stream, I'll show you other ways of pepping up your nails, but we'll use, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll make sure I put the colors, I mean my polish before, because the ones I've left out, the ones I wanted us to do, and also because of time, um, they need that my nails are dry first, I've put the the polish first and then I work on the other colors on top or the designs or whatever else I, I might want to show you so we'll do that next time at least you've gotten some five ideas today how to do it so you can invert your French manicure you can use um, glittered polish and combine it with a color especially maybe if you, you're going for a function the glittered polish is you know it's really good and maybe you might want to match with the theme of a party maybe that you've been invited to um so then you could also use um two polishes ah that's what i wanted to show you how to mix different polishes ah we could do that next time yeah so i've just done white polish on my right hand I'll remove the excess polish after because I don't want to mess this hand up um, so the last finger that I wanted to show you guys so I've put a white yes that's dry so what you do is take eyeshadow yeah just rub some eyeshadow and just rub it on the nail then you just so sometimes you want even to match maybe your eyeshadow you know so you can do that so i've applied that to the nail yeah and then all you need to do is put up a, a top coat yeah so i'll just put a top coat for all of them and then we are done Sorry, I need to clean up that. There's a bit full of eyeshadow. So. Need to jump for this. So. This is just top coat for all of them. Yeah, this is what we said last time. Um, when you're working with different colors of polish, you have to be careful. So like um, the one with the eyeshadow, I'll do it last. Otherwise, it might make all the other nails have... Um, have um, the blue color on them so I first do this hat this is top coat this brush is really really huge I keep saying that <laughs> takes so much product could use it for three nails at a go it's a new product so I'm, I'm getting used to using it sometimes I forget I think I'm using my usual it even has such a big opening to the bottle but the good thing is it dries very fast the top coat and I think it helps the nail polish also dry really really fast which I like when I don't have um, time for that so then we'll do our last nail here with the, the eyeshadow okay. it's 
that product that just jumped from my brush or am I dreaming? So sometimes this is also like you may not have a polish color that you really like and these ideas work out fantastic you know so either using an eyeshadow to you know like to create a polish for yourself or to mix colors up um, it's normally quite a great idea for that so this is what you can do and you can either have these nails um, you know um, you know as different colors maybe you twin them up so if you have the thumbs you do the same colors for all of them um, or sometimes you just do two or one one of a kind on each finger on the same finger it's just up to you you know it really depends on you know where you where you're going how you're comfortable with your nails and all that yeah okay so that's what we have um, um, Thank you so much for watching and for staying on. Um, just keep trying um, and I hope your nails are also keeping well and doing well. Um, we'll meet in two weeks time and then we'll continue with um, you know ways of um, packing up your nails maybe part two and then after that I'll just be doing it once in a while you know until you know as, as need comes by yeah as, as, as you'd like yeah so take care have a wonderful wonderful time and let's see you in two weeks um su subscribe and yeah let people who'd want to know in your you know in your close circle of friends or family who'd want to learn how to do their nails or you know just to get ideas what they can do for their nails to just join us um you know i'm not a professional nail technician but i just share what i've you know what I do what I have learned along the way as I do my nails and um, you know just to know that you can do something to your nails at home and they can grow and um, you know sometimes you don't even have to spend so much you know or you know like as I said sometimes when you don't have access to a professional place that you don't have to neglect your nails you can still do something at home yeah so take care and bye bye we'll see you in two weeks time Keep a jamming. Mm -hmm.